Boydy Nerdigans. This is the one only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kimetsu no Yaiba chapter 188. So before I get to this live reaction because this is the final chapter of Kimetsu no Yaiba of not only uh, 2019 but of the decade um, what I'm gonna do is uh, after I do my live reaction for chapter 188 I'm gonna give you my thoughts um, of uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba um, for 2019 and um, what I hope is going to happen in 2020. So anyway, last chapter of Kimetsu no Yaiba was very interesting. Uh, we got to see um, Yorichi's fight with uh, Muzum, which was really, really good. And uh, we saw that Muzum had like the most interesting anatomy. He had like hella brains and hella hearts like more than any um animal slash human should have and we also found out how tamayo was connected to muzin which i thought was very fascinating and like by the end of the chapter like you've had to really feel for yurichi i felt so bad and like even tanjiro was saying that he hoped that um yurichi found some peace and that's kind of why i kind of got pissed with how Upper Moon One's death was handled because I really wanted to see him with Yurichi. I really, really wanted to see him because that would have given him that, you know, at least a little piece. I mean, come on. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Sorrowful Love. Ooh, we're back to the fight against Muzin. You know, I'm really curious, by the way, if Muzin still has all those organs. Because remember what um, was said by Yurichi, that, or not Yurichi, Tamayo, that um, Muzin has overcome beheading. And basically the key to destroying Muzin is to destroy all of his organs. Well, that in sunlight, but anyway. He's gotten even faster. It's overwhelming. I can't even get a feel for his attacks. I can no longer shield Himajima. Um, I'll also be immobile soon. No, Kuroji! No! I can't see him at all. I'm relying on intuition and luck to dodge. I'll be the first one to fall even though I barely helped at all. No! Leave my girl alone! I just have to be uh, willing to risk it all and attack. But even then I may uh, not be able to stop moves in. Instead of cutting him, uh... Shit. Hold on a second. Instead of cutting him, maybe I should uh, try pinning his arms to... Hmm? Something's holding me down? Oh no. Hmm. Something's holding me down? Oh no! What's that? What was that attack? I thought Kamurji had dodged it. No! No! Leave Kamurji alone! Tend to her wounds. Yes, sir. I swear to God, if Kamurji dies, I will hate life. I will hate this manga. Leave her alone! Kuroji did nothing wrong! Find the corpse members with, uh, um, um, find the corpse member with almond-shaped eyes who has, uh, this paper. His name is Yushiro. Yushiro is mad. Wait, I can still fight. I won't hold you back. No, you've done enough. No, I haven't helped at all. I can't die yet. I'm counting on you. Yes, sir. Wait, I'll go with you, Iguro. No, Iguro, don't get yourself killed. I swear to God, if Iguro dies, I will be pissed off too because... That, that's, 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 uh, my girl's man's. I don't want anyone else to die. Demons, so many lives have been lost because demons exist in this world. I wish that you and I had met. Oh my god, this ship, this ship. I wish that you and I had met under normal circumstances. No, that is impossible for me. Unless I die and get a different body in which this filthy blood does not flow, I have no right to be with you. Kamoji, I belong to a corrupt bloodline that has killed, uh, to line its own pockets. With stolen money, we have inhabited mansions, feasted and uh, lived in unnecessary luxury. We are a shameless, um, avaricious, astanious, and ugly clan. So? Who cares? The family gave uh, birth to many girls. It had been 370 years since the uh, last birth of a boy. Ever since the time of my birth, they confined me to a cell. Wait a minute! This sounds very, very familiar. Doesn't this sound like Hiei's backstory right here? But the difference is, is that Hiei was sent to die. And also, Hiei was a twin. And, you know, he was y Yukina's twin. Hey. 
Uh, my mother, sisters, and aunts fawned over me so much that it was just... Well, that, too. There's... There's... Uh, where... Um, Hie was... Um, he was kind of... He, he was loved by his mom, but the rest of, of the ice tribe hated his ass and called him a demon and shit. Or called him a... Not demon. Well, he was a demon. Well, called him a devil and stuff. And, uh, um... This is different. They worship this motherfucker. My mother, sisters, and aunts fawned over me. So much that it was disgusting. Each, and each day they brought me rich food. The poor ventilation made the smell of fat so suffocating that I felt nauseous. At night in the cell, I heard the creepy sound of something massive crawling around. And I felt a gaze fixed upon me. My whole body would sweat and I couldn't sleep until the sound stopped. About the time I turned 12, they dragged me from the cell. In a splendid, gaudy, and luxurious room. As if enshrined like an object of worship. That sounds very familiar. Was a female, was a female demon who lower whose lower body was that of a serpent. Whoa! Wait a minute. Immediately, I realized that it was she who had been coming to see me at night. You are very, you are small, so very small. Perhaps I should wait until you are bigger. It's Princess Snake. My family have been living off riches stolen from those whom the serpent demon slayed. The woman loved uh, uh, feeding upon newborn babies, so in return, the family had been offering their own offspring to her uh, to her as uh, sacrifices. I was a rare boy, a uh, child with unusual eyes, so she had taken a great liking to me and allowed me to live until I grew uh, to a more uh, satiating size. This is some fucked up shit right here. She determined I would uh, live a little longer and um, have my mouth cut to a more closely... Uh, Cut to more closely match her own. The blood I spilled uh, filled a chalice and she drank it. Back in my cell, I thought only of escaping and surviving. With the stolen hairpin, I began scratching away uh, the lattice of my cell. Each day, I was a nervous wreck for, uh, for fear they would discover it. And the only living creature I could trust was uh, the snake uh, um, Kuburamaru, who, st who strayed in. Then I made my, my uh, uh, then I made my escape. Along the way, she nearly killed, uh, caught and killed me. But at the last moment, the flame Hashira saved, saved me. Yes, Red Goku, that's my boy. Gone but not forgotten. God, I miss Red Goku so much. The flame Hashira brought together my surviving cousin and me, but she rejected me. It's your fault. She killed everyone because you ran away. Fifty people, and you killed them. You were supposed to let the demon eat you as a sacrifice. What a bitch! Like, you're being an ungrateful bitch. You survived because... Be, uh, oh, God. You are a stupid bitch. My God. My cousin, um, cousin's berating was entirely unjustified. However, her words deeply pain me. Thank you! Thank you! And also, think about... This is a snake cult. And you know what this kind of makes me think of? Like, think of it th this way. Isn't this, like, the complete opposite of Doma, in a way? This is similar and, like, also the complete opposite of Doma. Whereas Doma was um, completely worshipped for being a demon. And um, he was looked up to, to send these people to paradise, and he ate them. Like, like this motherfucker here, it's the opposite. Like, he, he was going to be sacrificed to uh, this snake demon. And babies were being sacrificed to her. Like, I just find it fascinating that this is, like, the this is similar and, uh, and this is kind of like Doma's story, but a little bit different. Very curious what you guys think. Which, by the way, I'm still mad about Doma's death. I had considered what might happen to my relative relatives if I had um, attempted escape, but I had fled uh, because I wanted to live. As the member of a filthy family, I was too corrupt. My sins were deep, so I could uh, not live a normal life. With no other outlet, I turned my ra um, all my rage on demons in a grudge of intense hatred. But that snake was a goddamn demon. That snake woman was a demon. Think, think about that. By risking my life, uh, my life for others, I felt as if I had in some way become a slightly better person. Well, duh. However, the decaying hands of so ooh. However, the decaying hands of so many people whose eyes uh, shone with reproach claw to, uh, continued to claw at me and hold me back. I want to die defeating Muzin, and I pray that it will purify... No! And I pray that it will purify um, my filthy blood. Then if I am reborn as a human being in a peaceful world without demons, I will tell you of my feelings for you. This is 
so heartbreaking. I feel so bad. I feel so goddamn bad. This isn't fair. I feel so bad for you, girl. This isn't fair. But I just find it interesting that, like, a girl's sto story, in a way, is very similar to Doma's, but it's like, a girl's story is like from the perspective of a victim, whereas Doma's um story is like the perspective of a god of like a demon god i just find it very fascinating i'm very curious if you guys picked up on that but um oh god i feel so bad for you girl i really do and i'm really curious if you girl does die if we're gonna see those women or those the people of his family drag him down i'm really curious if we're gonna get the death for iguro the death that Doma, that was hoping that we were going to get for Doma, um, we're going to get that for Iguro instead. If we do, I will, I, I, I'm, that will kind of make me mad because, like, motherfucker, that should have been what, um, Doma got. Oh, God, I'm still pissed off about that. But anyways, um, let me give you my thoughts on the chapter. This chapter was really, really good because we haven't gotten any backstory for Iguro. And, um, I don't think we've seen Iguro's mark yet, so this will be good. So next chapter, we should be, like, or, like, within the next couple of chapters, we should be seeing Iguro's mark. And I'm ready for Iguro's mark. I'm ready to see that shit. Um, and, uh, it's just, it's just so heartbreaking. And as I said, I just like the parallel, or, like, the commonality that we're getting with Iguro and, uh, Doma's story. I just think that's so freaking crazy i'm just curious if that's what um uh gotoge was going for anyway um let me give you my thoughts on uh kimetsu no yaiba um in 2019 and what i hope to see in 2020 so 2019 was definitely a good year for kimetsu no yaiba manga i mean it's doing really well like selling wise um mostly because of the anime adaptation oh, oh god that anime adaptation even though the writing was good Child, that line work. Oh God, UFO table did not capture Gatoge's anatomical work, uh, anatomical art right, and that pissed me off. Yes, the fighting was beautiful, but oh, the oh God, that the thing that um is important to me when it comes to art and animation, especially when it comes to like like mangas like Gatoge uh, from like Kimetsu no Yaiba or um. I'll get to it when I cover Jujutsu Kaisen. Or, like, uh, if uh, Hell's Paradise Shigakaraku gets an anime adaptation, is the anatomical art. Because Gotoge does such beautiful detailing in, the, in his anatomy, or in his anatomical art, that I really want to see it transition into, you know, get it, see it, not transition, sorry. Translate it into um, its uh, anime adaptation. It just really ma makes me mad that we didn't get to see it. It disappoints me. But anyway, um... Back to the manga, we saw a lot of beautiful fights, we saw a lot of beautiful writing, but, but, oh, before I get to the but part, I gotta say, we, there was some tears, uh, there was lots of laughs, but I gotta say, I would say my favorite part of this manga in 2019 that really got me crying was the Akaza fight. The Akaza fight was beautiful. Oh my god, that Akaza fight was so freaking fantastic. I just think the only thing that was missing from that fight was um, Ren uh, Akaza asking Rengoku for forgiveness. That would have been that would have been just so perfect. If we would have gotten that, oh my god, that would have been oh that would have been icing on the cake. And just oh, um, I really love oh god, uh, seeing uh. Um, Nizuko becoming a daywalker was freaking cool. Seeing her talk. Oh my god, the training arc was freaking hilarious. Oh god, it, it's been a really good year. But the only thing that really frustrated me about this manga was how uh, Doma's death was handled. Um, and in a way, how Upper Moon One's death was handled kind of frustrated me because what I was really hoping was I really wanted to see 
him going see have him uh see uh oh my god see um Yurichi before he went to hell I would have loved to seen that and like as you know get forgiveness from his brother like get a, a kind of like uh how we saw um uh Takedo like got you know Takedo um with his brother and how he got forgiveness or um uh, no the best scene um the best death, uh, this is what I was hoping we were going to get with uh, Yochiro and Upper Moon 1, was with uh, Sinemi and Genya. Oh my god, that scene was so beautiful. That's what I wanted for Upper Moon 1's death. I wanted to see that forgiveness with Upper Moon 1 and Yochiro. That would have been so beautiful. I feel like Gotoge missed out on a op good opportunity with that. Anyway, what I want to see in 2020 is I really want to see uh, something that I think we're going to, I really want to get some answers on how um, the power of the fire god slash sun god was transferred into Tanjiro's family from uh, Yochiro because that hasn't really been answered yet. Um, I'm very curious about that because the theory about like, um, the, maybe being a descendant of Yochiro was kind of, you know, uh, that was whacked. So I'm curious, I'm curious if we're going to get that answer ne um, next year. Um, I'm curious about, like, how, what's going to happen if, um, well, obviously Tanjiro's going to get brought to life. I'm curious if Nezuko's going to, obviously Nezuko's going to have to do it. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, can't wait to see, uh, Iguro's mark. I'm looking forward to seeing Iguro's mark. That's going to be fucking sweet um i'm very curious if muzin is going to get nizuko's blood and i'm curious and also i can't wait to see if uh nizuko is going to get another transformation that would be fucking sweet oh my god please please Katoke, give me another transformation for nizuko that would be badass as hell oh my god i need this and all and um, no, Kamarji already had her mark, so we, we, I don't need to see, we don't need to see that. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need, we're going to get from this. I don't want to see, I really don't want to see Sinemi die. If Sinemi dies, that's going to be really heartbreaking. Oh god, that would be so heartbreaking. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really want to see. Oh, I want to see, um, Tanjiro, oh, I want to see Tanjiro get awakened. Oh, I want to see a new awakening with, especially with that, um, that, uh, thir I think it's the 13th dance. Yeah, the 13th dance. That is going to be amazing. Anyway, I'm very curious what you guys think of this chapter. Um, what do you, I'm curious if you guys know, notice that like that kind of commonality or like that parallel between, uh, Doma and Guro's backstories. I just find it fascinating. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And what are you guys are what are you guys looking forward to um, with Kimetsu no Yaiba in 2020? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. If you love what I'm doing, I'm going to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Kimetsu no Yaiba content. There's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe. Purchase something on my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!